Uh, this was on the Sunday morning. I was um, in the area close to uh, our old um, wing headquarters. And there was a shout for, bring gun, bring gun. So I, I dashed round this corner. It was in, it was houses, all houses round there, a housing area. And, um, and came almost face to face with a German. He was about 15 yards away, I'd say. And um, so I dropped to the ground and cocked the gun, the, the brain gun, and pulled the trigger and the gun jammed. And the German turned and ran away. <laughs> it was incredible. It's the right sort of German. <laughs> Did he not have a weapon himself? He had a rifle. Yes, he had a rifle. I think. How come you think he didn't open up on you? He was too frightened, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It was, I have a guardian angel. Um, the Whedons don't get killed in battle. <laughs> but uh, that was as close as I came. Oh, except, um, except um, on the last day but one... <coughs> I, um, the Germans were closing in on us and um, and we had this order to um, withdraw into the houses. Uh, we were on open ground there and um, th this chap, I was in a, tr in a, in a trench with this chap who I knew by sight, but not by name. He wasn't in our squadron. Um, um, he offered to carry my brain ammunition for me. And um, I said, thank you. And um, we, we got out of the trench together and um, ran across the green uh, at least I ran across the green, and uh, when I got to the other side, um, turned round, and this chap was lying on the ground, and uh, he'd been uh, shot, um, obviously by a sniper. There, um, I I think I know where the shot came from, um, because. Um, I'd emptied a, a a magazine full of ammunition into a particular um, window earlier that day, and um, he was killed helping me. <laughs> <laughs>